let's see how we can help save you time, but also get your Wi-Fi designs right first time with Echohow AI Auto Planner. What we have got here is a predictive model with three floors inside of this predictive model. So to run the Echohow AI Auto Planner, I'm simply gonna click on this blue icon, which will open up our AI Auto Planner window. And then the first thing that we need to do is select which model access point we would like to use for our design. And we have got thousands and thousands of access points, and I'm going to select this Cisco 9136i access point for this design. Once we are happy with the AP that we have got selected, we can then expand our advanced options. Inside of our advanced options, we have lots that we can configure here from the transmitting power we would like to use on all three different radios to the antenna heights. And what you might notice here is that across the three floors, we have got areas configured with devices too. So we can ask the AI auto planner when it's doing its design to also take into consideration the capacity requirements of your devices and their SLAs inside of the areas that we've got configured across multiple floors. Simply by hitting this optimize with capacity toggle to be on. Once we are happy with that, the next thing that we can configure is the channels that we would like to use inside of our plan as well. We can select the 2.4, 5 and 6 gigahertz channels which we would like to include in our plan as well as which bandwidth or channel width that we would like to use on the different frequency bands as well. So once we're happy with this, we can then simply hit the create button and our AI auto planner is going to start preparing to deploy our Wi-Fi network for us. And we can see the dancing APs moving around and then, whoa, oh my goodness, look at all of those iterations that the auto planner is crunching through right now going over multiple different positions for the access points and the configurations. Then once the auto planner has deployed the network for us, we can see now that we have got 49 access points placed across the three different floors and we can then check the details of our network health summary. So how is the Wi-Fi performing across all of those three floors? Are we meeting our requirements? And we can see all of those beautiful green ticks, which means we are meeting our Wi-Fi requirements across all three frequency bands across all three floors which is pretty cool because this was only a matter of moments before this was deployed for us. Then if we would like to dive into a bit more detail, we can select the inspect tab and we can select some locations across the floor plan and we can see our passing requirements and, and we can check out what is happening in the different specific locations across our floor plans to make sure we are happy with how the Wi-Fi has been deployed. So it is as simple as that we can create a high-performing Wi-Fi network for you at a simple click of a few buttons. 